All right, what's up? Here's my uh, promise tutorial that I've been promising for a while to a few different people. It's how to make lag switches for video games. Now, <clears throat> what is a lag switch? A lag switch is a device to create lag. Why would you want to create lag? You would want to create lag to gain an advantage in a video game. I mean, let's face it, with a character skipping across the screen, it's pretty darn hit to, hard to hit them, huh? So, not that I'm going to begin suggesting it's fair or a very nice thing to do, but in case you feel like doing it, here's how to do it. Now, here's one I prepared earlier. Hold on, it's all tangled. Alright, here's one I prepared earlier. So, as you can see, hold on, let me switch this to close-up mode. Alright. So as you can see, looks like a jumble of wires, but what I did is I stripped it in a certain way to expose the inner wires. Split wires, connected switches, it's pretty quite simple. Except my lag switch is not quite as simple as just turning on and off the internet. My lag switch has three different switches, a press switch, two flip switches and an adjustable resistor alright <clears throat> so let me get a fresh ethernet cord oh I knocked my camera down alright so here's my fresh ethernet cord completely intact. So before we begin, allow me to suggest uh, some of the items you should have. Uh, you should have either electric tape or soldering iron and solder. The soldering iron will produce a uh, much better, more durable build, but if you're not very uh, adept with soldering irons or you don't know what it is or you don't know how to use them, etc. The old twist wire electric tape standby will work. But what you will need at the absolute very least is electric tape, a knife, a ethernet cord, and some switches. Now because I don't have 8 million switches laying around, I'm just going to steal the switches from this ethernet cord. This, uh, I mean this lag switch, which uh, by the way, uh, broke anyways so it needs you know I need to build a new one anyways so all right so I'm first gonna show you how to build a very simple lag switch now uh, there's no set formula to lag switches there's no set thing that will produce a same effect there's so many variables involved with lag switches no lag switch will be identical and you'll never get an identical result. It depends on what game you're uh, playing, it depends on what console you're playing it on, it depends on your internet provider, it depends on your router, it depends on how you build the lag switch because as I'm going to show you there's many ways to build one and it depends on your ethernet cord so there are many variables but no matter which way you do it, if you're, as long as it's done properly you will create lag. So the first thing to do is take your knife. Now mine is a very sharp one, and uh, well, that sounded stupid. Get a sharp knife, okay? Don't get a dull butter knife. Don't use scissors. You know, open the scissors. No, get a sharp knife. If you don't have a sharp knife, you can use. I don't. I don't know where mine went. Ah, well, these pliers have these little cutters built in. Wait, if you're good, you can take the cutter kind of squeeze it and run it around but I prefer the old knife trick so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to make an incision that goes all the way around the Ethernet cord yeah I know this is real boring but <laughs> it takes a little bit you don't want to rush it okay so kind of twist it alright so let me put it back in macro mode so the result should be a little something like this. Well, let me 
little something like that. All right, <clears throat> so you want to repeat on the other side. Now give yourself some space. Don't do it right here. Do it, give yourself some space. So repeat, make an incision, goes all the way around. Remember, don't rush it. Skip ahead in the video if you want. Really, you don't even have to make an incision that goes all the way around. Here I just did it. All I did here is I made one that went halfway around, and then I'm just able to twist it and it comes open. So now you'll have something like this. It'll slide freely. Now to remove it, here's where it gets tricky. You're going to want to make an incision that runs lengthwise. It doesn't even have to run all the way, just enough for you to peel it off. So this is why having a sharp knife is crucial. Now one of the potential screw-ups in this process is you could cut through the wires, which you don't want to do, the internal wires. So using your knife, carefully cut an incision that goes at least a quarter of the way down the ethernet cord. Really what I'm doing is I'm making an incision that I'm trying to pry it open. If it's not deep enough, I'll make it deeper. But really the goal is make an incision that's deep enough for you to pry open. There we go, I got one. Now using the knife, I can start opening it up. Or, even better, you can put it in macro mode so you can see. You can put your knife in here, and then you can push, trying to split it. There's many ways to do this. There's no right or wrong. The only wrong is splitting. Whoa, took out my camera again. Jeez, talk about sloppy. Okay. Yeah, I'm probably gonna get 50 million comments saying, wow, you suck, your camera works crappy. Hey, putting this on a tripod, a little mini tripod, okay? It's not that stable. I'm not even trying to make this a tutorial for mass amounts of people to watch. I'm really just making the tutorial for my friends because they've been asking me, but anyways, so here I'm starting to expose those wires, but the goal is to expose at least three to four inches of the twisted wire inside. This process is the one of the most difficult parts of making a lag switch. Now, just so you know, this is a very simple method of making a lag switch. This is the simple lag switch. Ah, there we go. Look at that. Just go like All right. So as I was saying, this is a simple lag switch. There's lag switches that are much better to where you plug it. It's like a box, you know, a box, and you plug an ethernet cord. Oops, let me switch it back. So you plug an ethernet cord into one end, the other ethernet cord into the other end, and the box runs it through, and you can completely turn off your internet. This one is actually in some ways more effective because you're not completely turning off your internet. All you're doing is turning off individual strands, which we'll get to later. So, you sh if you did it properly, gotta keep switching it. Did it properly, should have some plastic insulation hanging off. Take some cutters, cut off that darn piece. All right, so that is the goal. Okay, let me get my tripod positioned again. Okay, so now you have your individual wires all twisted together. Now here's where I mentioned earlier, there's no right or wrong way to build a lag switch. It's all about experimentation. Even if I knew a predefined formula, if I knew you want to connect a resistor here, a switch here, even that, you know, I, um, I wouldn't tell you because... I uh, encourage experimentation. So just go ahead and pick a strand or two. Well, actually, I wouldn't recommend that. Just pick a strand. In this case, I'm going to pick this orange one. Try to get it untwisted as much as you can so you have plenty of room. 
put it in macro mode so you can see. Here I pick the orange, try to get a nice length exposed like I did. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is take your cutters and then cut it right down the middle. Hmm, these cutters used to work. There we go. Alright, so there we go. Exposed. So, of course, the next step is to strip it. Now, a lot of times I can strip with my fingernail, but I would use these, but they're for gauges of wire that are too thick. It's not going to strip these. So, in this case, if you're good, you can take the cutters and a plier, gently apply pressure, pull, and if you're good, you should just get copper exposed. Well, I basically did. It's kind of a crappy job, but... Let me go ahead and cut off that little bit of insulation hanging off. All right, so we got this. Oh wow, my video is already 11 minutes. Guess there's gonna have to be a part two. All right, oh, here we go again. This tripod's really flimsy. Okay, so I really should be doing this in macro mode. So there's our length of wire. So I got one exposed, got to expose the other. Sorry, I don't mean to ramble on so much. I really could edit a lot of this out, and I probably will, but uh, just want to make sure I include, I do a comprehensive tutorial. All right, so now you got your wire. So all you're going to want to do now is take your switch. If you hadn't already done so, solder lengths of wire onto your switch and strip them. This side's already stripped. I just need to strip the other. Go ahead and do that. And there we go. Stripped. So, what you're going to want to do is take your end, end it, you know, where it connects, twist it together. And uh, if you're not going to solder it, then electric tape it as best as you can. And if you don't have electric tape, you can always resort to duct tape if you're desperate. But I want to do a good job, so I'm going to solder it. So let me get my tripod position so I can show you guys who haven't seen soldering before what it uh, entails. Okay, so ready to solder. Solder is metal that can be easily melted easily melted. You should have a sponge Oops. to wipe the tip. Now my soldering tip is gunked up so <laughs> and uh, that's a story for another time why it's so gunked up. Now stupid cord isn't going long enough but what you want to do is just ah jeez. Alright. Rest the tip against the... ah came off. Sheesh. Let me retwist this. Okay. Retwist them together. That way they hold in place. Because soldering, you don't have three hands. It'd be nice if you did, but. Alright, so apply some heat. Then start applying solder, which is the meltable metal. <laughs> Wipe your soldering iron. And. There we have it. Perfect solder joint. See how the metal coated it? They're fused together. So we're ready to do the other side. Okay. Ah, it refuses to twist together. Very lame. Very lame. Okay. Now this one we gotta be careful with because this one, as you saw, wants to come apart. Right, I'm, I'm not left-handed, but this in this case, it's going to be easier to solder left-handed. So, apply heat. Then after you've applied heat for about 5-10 seconds, apply your solder. Wait so it flows. Release. Wipe. And, there you have it. Perfect soldering joint again. 
So what this is going to do is whenever this switch is turned off, electricity is not going to flow through this orange wire anymore. Now what that's going to do on the game, I don't really know. Turn it on, it'll go back through, act normal. So whenever you're connecting to the network, make sure it's on the on position. The only time you want to turn it off is when you're in the middle of a game. Make sure you don't turn it off longer than two to three seconds or else you will lag out. Alright, so uh, that's about it for my tutorial, but there are a few suggestions I have. That was just a simple demonstration of what exactly you're trying to do here. But as I said, I have no predefined formula. My last soldering, I mean, my last, sorry, my last lag switch, I just attached a switch. That was my little brother. Anyways, I just attached a um, switch to random strands and see what they do. Now something else you can do